yes guys welcome back hope you all are doing great this is the part two of our gui paint application with tekinter so right now we created the gui but this is the finished project what we need to do now is we need to make our gui that we just created to be able to do all these things so we should be able to clear we should be able to write again we should be able to pick a pen instead of a brush we should even be able to make polygons so how do we make the polygons you can see that we're getting it's connecting and right now we have a polygon kind of shape so we should be able to do all these things and this is what we're going to create next and if we want to we can erase it so that's all the functionalities we're going to create where we left off in the first one and if you haven't done the first video if you haven't watched the first video i'll leave a card for that go watch that so you have your gui working perfectly and looking perfectly so now what we're going to do is we're going to add all the functionalities to make our paint application work perfectly so if you're new to the channel subscribe like the video guys it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm and it's completely free so comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions and let's get started with the part two What we'll do next is we'll say self dot var underscore status set that equal to string with a capital string var and we'll give this a value of selected pen. After this, we'll say self dot lbl underscore status. Set this equal to label underscore self dot root. I'll create a text variable. I'll set that equal to self dot of our status and after that we just put self dot lbl lbl status dot grid and we'll add our row so row three also add our column set that to four and add a row span Set that equal to three two. So we have this in place. We run it and you can see that now we have the whole kind of GUI that we we'll need. We have our pen, we have the brush, we have the color, erasers, polygon, color, save. We have everything, but all these buttons are useless right now because we haven't created the methods that actually give them the functionality that we need. So that's what we're going to do next. So right here, I'm going to put a setup and this setup is what we're going to create immediately. So I'll say self dot setup. And right now it's practically probably going to give us an error if we run it because it's going to tell us, I don't know what setup is, but don't worry because we're creating setup right now. So right here, we'll say dev setup. So here we'll say self dot old underscore x and self dot old underscore y. 
All we'll do is we'll set them to none. Next we'll say self.color. We'll set it to self.default. Now we have we created our default color. We'll say self.erase or eraser on. We'll set that to false. Self.active button. We'll set that to none. And also self.size underscore multiplier. We'll set that to one. What we'll do next is say self.active or activate. Let me just remove this down here. We'll give it self.pen. Pen button. Next is self.c.bind. Right here we'll say b1 dash motion and also self dot paint next we say self dot c dot bind we'll say button release dash one self dot reset I'm just gonna copy this right here because what we're gonna do next is very similar to it and yeah we'll say self dot c dot bind and instead of button release we'll just say button button dash one and it's going to be self dot points not reset next we'll say self dot root dot bind we'll put escape self dot line underscore reset And some of these functionalities we're going to create them now but i just really like doing the setup before we actually create it so we understand what we're, so we understand what we're actually setting up and we could set this to none and also none and i'm just going to check this through so we make sure we don't have any bugs now what we can do is we can actually create some methods. So the next method we're going to create is use pen. So we can actually use our pen. So how we do this, we say self.activate button. And then we'll say self dot pen. And then we say self dot size. multiplier I will set that equal to one so this is why we needed to create those settings right here setup not settings setup so we can actually use the methods right here now we can't just use this method right now because we need to create some other methods that actually help this use pen actually work like the activate button we haven't created this yet so we're going to do that very soon but before we do that let's actually create use brush too I'm just gonna copy this and instead of use pen, we say use brush. Change this to 
on brush. And here's going to be 2.5. And this should be activate button, not active button. So we just caught an error right there. This is another reason sometimes I like reusing code that I've made so I can actually make sure that, yeah, it's working out well because I probably wouldn't have seen this error if I didn't reuse it right now. Yeah, so we have activate button. Make sure you correct that. It's not active button, it's activate. Next, what we'll do is we'll say self dot Self dot use line, and here is going to be line button. After this, the next is use poly. I will say self dot poly. So what we need to do next is, as we said earlier, we'll be able to choose color. So we're going to create a method for that. Choose underscore color. And for this, we'll say self dot erase. Eraser underscore on. We'll set that to false. And we'll set the color to equal to ask color. And this is from Tikinta. Then we'll say color is equal to self dot color. After that, we'll put one. I'll create an if statement that says if color is not none then self dot color is equal to color next we'll create a function or a method for use underscore eraser or we'll say self dot activate why am I getting active button all the time? Eraser button. Now we say eraser underscore mode is equal to true. And what we'll do next is we'll actually create activate button. We'll have some underscore button and also eraser underscore mode. I'll we'll set that equal to false. And next we'll say self dot set status. And there's no reason right now to actually run the code to see it because the GUI is going to be the same. Right now, what we're doing is we're basically doing like the back end, basically doing all the functionalities. So that's why. If self dot active button then we'll say self dot active button dot config Relief is equal to raised. Then we'll say some button dot config relief is equal to sunken. 
So next we'll say self dot active button and we'll set that to some button and also self dot eraser on we'll set that to eraser mode and yes guys that's basically what we need to do right now the next thing we'll create our paint method and also add all the functionalities for that and after that we'll be able to actually write on paint whatever we want so yes guys we're gonna take a break right now and yeah go take a water break stretch do whatever do some exercise the next part will actually finish all the functionality and make sure our pen is working out perfectly right now as you can see we created our gui we added some minor functionalities to it added some methods for like writing or brushing or erasing we added those methods so the next part will finalize that and yeah if you're new to the channel subscribe so you can get the part two if you have any questions put them down in the comments below and like the video guys it's free and it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm but for right now i'm gonna wrap this up and i'll see you all on the next one